So let's go ahead and turn to slide number 13, and this is actually one of the fun materials that's available with Faith in Action, and that is the Faith in Action t-shirt. And so many times you think about a t-shirt and you think, oh, how can that be effective? How is that a material that I need for implementing this program? But actually, it does a lot of things for you. Number one, when you go out on the day that you serve the community, if you've got your team and all your volunteers wearing that Faith in Action shirt, if you take a look at the back of it, it's got a really intriguing message. So it says, don't go to church, be the church. And when you're wearing that, what happens in the community is that it really captures their attention. It starts conversations and they can see that and say, why are you here and, and why are you here to serve? And it conveys that message. We're here because we want to be the church. We love God. We're following after Christ and we want to serve you out of that love. So it communicates that message to your community. Number two, it builds up a feeling of teamwork with all of your volunteers in your congregation. If you're all there together wearing that same shirt and that same message, it really bonds together that team and that's another way that you can use that. The other thing that it does that sometimes you don't think through quite as much is that it can start spiritual conversations. You know, I've been wearing this shirt actually and just gone into a fast food restaurant and because of the intriguing message, it can actually be an opportunity to witness to somebody when they say, be the church, don't go to church, what does that mean? And you're able to there to talk to them about your faith and what does faith in action mean and what does it mean to be the church and follow after Christ. And then finally, just on a practical aspect, what it does is it actually ensures safety and it helps identify your volunteers to the members of your community, especially if you're in an area like a school or a park where you might be around children. When you have all your volunteers in a shirt like this, or even if you have them wear your church's shirt, it identifies these are our volunteers, these are the people who are a part of the program who should be here and should be working in this area. That's another thing that the t-shirt does for you. And there's a sample one included in the campaign kit. So for the next part of this, I want to walk you through the steps to success. And for this, go ahead and have that visual presentation in front of you. And I'm going to try to point out which slides we're covering because there's a lot of examples and a lot of material that help you as we go through these steps. So step number one, plan. We talked a little bit about the campaign planning guide. That's the best place to go to to really get a feeling for how many weeks does it take? What are some of the things that I need to do to be successful with this that I need to take as actions? What volunteers do I need? What kind of leaders do I need? That's in that campaign planning guide that comes with your kit. So take a look at that to get started on planning. Then engage your congregation. So that's the second step. You want to get as many members of your church involved in this. Again, it is a church-wide campaign. So the goal is 100% of the people in your church being involved in faith and action and being transformed by faith and action. Then step number three, this is a great outreach opportunity. So reach out to coworkers, family, friends, just anybody in your community. Invite them to come alongside you and join in and make a difference together. The fourth one is the big one, go out and serve. I'm gonna talk about that in a lot of detail in just a moment here. And then the final one is celebrate. And again, we're gonna talk a little bit about a celebration service and how do you use that as part of the Faith in Action campaign and why is that important. From here, go ahead and take a look at slide number 15. We talked about engaging your congregation, inviting your community. A big part of that is communication. So on slide number 15, there's some good points. Number one, in my experience, great communication frequently leads to great participation. So think through some of the ways in which you can communicate both to your own members and then to the community to invite them. If you, the more you repeat a message, the more your congregation and those that you're speaking to are going to retain that. And then finally, when you use banners and bulletins and messages from the pulpit, you are going to communicate to your congregation this is important. We are dedicated to this. The church leadership is dedicated to this. You should be involved. It really lets them know this is an important thing that we're implementing in our church and we would like you to join in. Now if you look at slide 16 and the next several slides, this is going to give you some example of some of the materials that are available from uh, outreach and through the website that we're going to discuss for you to be able to communicate to the congregation. We really want to get them excited 
and get them interested in joining in, being in a small group, coming to each one of the sermons and listening as you go through those points, going through the devotional, participating in the project. And here's some things that you can do that will help with that. On slides 16, 17, and 18, take a look at those. And there are a number of examples of banners. You can use banners here that say, be the church and communicate that message. You want to be involved. You want to be a part of this. You can even do something that sounds as really simple, but that is switch bulletins for a little while. If you always use the same bulletin, an easy thing to do is to, let's say for the four weeks of faith in action plus a couple weeks in advance, change bulletins and use a bulletin that is about faith in action. That's going to catch their attention. It's an easy way to do it to say, this isn't just a regular Sunday. We are starting in on an important program. We want to tell you about it. We want you to be involved. So that's another way to do it. And again, slide 18 and 19 shows you what those bulletins look like. The message again is be the church. And there are some examples just showing helping hands and ways that you can impact others and make a difference. Slide 18 again has other examples of banners like the one behind me here that you can use in your church to say, put your faith in action, come make a difference with us. Then let's go ahead and move on a little bit to communication methods that you can use to invite your community to serve. On slide number 20, there are a lot of examples there, and what's included are impact cards. Those are direct mail postcards that you can send out. We talked a little bit in some of the stories about people that receive those postcards, like the gentleman that, that called up and, and donated to the church. There was another lady who received a direct mail postcard that invited her to come and assemble AIDS caregiver kits. And this woman who received this had been looking for a way to help with the AIDS epidemic. That had been on her heart, but she didn't know how to serve. She received a postcard inviting her, come make a difference with us. And she came and participated in that program with that church. That's a way that you can reach out. And there are examples of that as you go through the next several slides. So slide number 20 has a summary of those. And then 21, 22, as you go through your presentation, 21 shows you things like banners and door hangers that you can use to say, come make a difference with us. Then take a look at slide number 22. Those are direct mail invitations. And again, the message is geared to say, come make a difference with us. Here are the things that we're doing. Here are the dates and times. It can be customized for your church, and we can help you put that together. So all of those materials are available, and we just want to encourage you to think through ways that you can encourage participation, reach out to the community, and gather your local neighbors and have them, gather them into your fold and into your church and have them come participate with you. And there are materials available to help you do that.